Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to John Gallo Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts, as it is the first playoff game for the Hopkinton Hillers boys varsity hockey team. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera, and this is South Division Three sectional action, Bishop Stang is the host team and the sixth seed with a 14-5 and one record. The Hillers are 12-6 and two. They are the 11th seed. And right now we'll send it down to rinkside for the introductions and the national anthem. Of uh, Bishop Stang High School and the Hillers of Hopkinton High School. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all the attendants. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call on For tonight's starting lineup, for the visitors of Hopkinton High School. Starting on the net, number one, Cole Thomas. <laughs> on the net, number 15, Steve Simone. <laughs> on the net, number 18, Ron Chan.
have it, the national anthem and the starting lineups. In case you missed the starting lineups, let's go through them once again. We'll start off with the home team, Bishop Stang, who is the sixth seed. Number 11, a captain, Caleb Ikella, who is a senior. Number 14, Andrew Carusi, who's a junior. Number 18, Nick Haworth, a freshman forward. Number 19, Bobby Jedry, a captain and a senior. Number 27, Ryan Martin, a sophomore and a net. Number 35, Matt Dory, a freshman. For the Hopkinton Hillers in net, it's Cole Thomas. Your forwards are Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, and Steve Simos on defense. Ron Seamus and Tommy Hamblett. And we are ready for the opening faceoff of this South Division III sectional matchup. The winner of tonight's matchup advances to take on the winner of North Quincy and Rockland on Sunday, March 3rd, right here at John Gallo Arena. As the Hillers start off with possession, the pass behind the net by Carusi, and we are underway. Aquila gets it back to center ice. With possession briefly was Sheamus, and now Bishop Stang has it back into the Hillers zone. It goes. Tommy Hamlet tracks it down. Jammed up along the corner. Rogers trying to dig it out. He'll meet up with Jedry. And here comes the Hillers, Sean Walsh. And he, he is diverted by Carusi. Puck still up behind the net. Getting in there with the body check was Jedry. Back to center ice we go as Seamus puts it around the boards. The Hillers, they finished the regular season with 12 wins, six losses, two ties overall. And they ended up going to the Cape to finish out the season play for a tournament. They went one and one in that tournament. Up behind the net, Carusi. Of course, this is what all these hockey teams have been playing for, a chance to get an opportunity in the postseason as Ryan Martin puts it over to the far side towards Jedry. That's Jack Jedry, a couple of Jedrys on Bishop Stang. Bishop Stang located in North Dartmouth. They have players from a number of different towns. This is Carusi with the pass up to Cartarelli. And here comes Bishop Stang on the attack and that's diverted by Cole Thomas. Both teams just kind of feeling each other out right now as we're about two minutes into the first period. Dan Kirk up behind the net with the pass up the boards towards Quinlan. Now it's jammed up along the corner. Now Quinlan gets it and here he comes. Quinlan meets up with Devin Allen. And here's Walsh for Chip Stang, puts it over to the far side. And tripping up there was Kyle Rogers. Simos will track it down back ice. Pass up the boards to Rogers. And now here comes Sean Walsh on a bit of a break here. Walsh looking for a shot. And over to the near side corner it goes. That one's sliced up in the air. Walsh tracks it down. Kyle Rogers with the pass back to Walsh. Out in front, Hamlet, and it's turned away by Dory. That was a good setup by the Hillers, getting Hamlet in front of the net. And there's uh, another shot turned away. And it ended up going right back to Simos. And out of center ice we go. Sheamus tracks it down. Far side, he goes to Hamlet. Hamlet will knock it around, and it's tracked down by Consoletti. Now up the far side is Govea. Bishop Stang led by head coach Ken Govea. I believe it's his son on the team, a freshman, Justin Govea, who wears number seven for Bishop Stang. The Spartans will have a face-off in Bishop Stang territory. And Kirk on the faceoff against Devin Allen. Along the near side corner now. With possession, that is Marshall. Turned up ice. There's a shot there, a little wide to the left. That was off the stick of Saporoshitz. Back down along the near side, Ikella. He's jammed up along with Quinlan. Some body contact there with Dan Kirk. Sliced over to the corner by Consoletti. Now up behind the net we go. 
For possession, Jedry, one of the captains, Bobby Jedry. Miller's doing a good job keeping it in Bishop Stank territory. And now up the far side in front of Howarth, that shot wide to the left. That was off the stick of Saporoshitz. Certainly has a powerful shot. Up along the corner. Tracked down by Marshall. Marshall takes a hard hit from Hamlet. Remains in Spartans territory. Here comes Consoletti. Tracked down back ice by Simos. Line change for Bishop Stang. About 10 and a half minutes left to go in the first period. Here comes Simos. Driving up the ice. And there's a shot turned away by Dory. Sliced off the boards by Martin. That one knocked up out of play. Off the stick of Walsh. We'll have a face off. 10.23 left to go in the first period. The Hillers getting the 11 seed in the South Division Three sectional. And Bishop Stang the six seed. Bishop Stang is the home team here today. That one turned away by Dory. Jammed up along the near side corner. Walsh trying to dig it out. He meets up with Cartarelli. Now with possession, it's Ryan Martin. Bishop Stang trying to make some noise offensively as Martin puts that to the left of the net. Sheamus will track it down, but he beats up with Jack Jedry. Now jammed up behind the Hillers net it is. Over to Rogers. Here comes Rogers. And that one knocked away but from Hamlet from, by Cartarelli. And Cartarelli trying to work up ice. Sean Walsh got a stick on it. Over to the far side, here goes Carusi. Back to the Hiller zone. And quickly back into Bishop Stank territory, but we'll have an icing call here. Faceoff comes at 9.31 left to go in the first period. We are scoreless in this playoff game between Bishop Stang and Hopkinton. Matt Walsh on the faceoff for Bishop Stang up against Dan Kirk. Out in front of the net, turned away by Thomas. That was off the stick of Devin Allen. Slice stopped the boards and now tracking it down back ice is Colin Walsh. Dan Kirk has a break and that's turned away by Dory. And it looks like we're going to have a penalty here for sticking. We're going to get a tripping call. And the Hillers will be on the power play. Heading to the penalty box, that's Colin Walsh. Colin Walsh, a junior defenseman for Bishop Stang. Sean Walsh on the faceoff there for the Hillers. Simos trying to get it over to Hamlet, who briefly lost the stick. Simos will track it down back ice. Well, two minute power play for the Hillers. A big opportunity here in the first period. The Hillers have certainly been winning the possession battle so far in this game. A hard check there as Gilbert meets up with Ikella, the captain. Around the boards goes Bobby Jedry, and it'll just get by Simos. Simos turns it up towards Walsh. Now over to the neutral zone. Ryan Martin gets the stick on it. And here comes the Hillers on the attack. A minute 13 and County left on the power play. Sean Walsh with a shot just wide to the left. Hamlet turns it around towards Walsh, who will put it back up the near side boards. Gilbert, pass over to Simos. That shot turned away by Dory. Hillers putting the pressure on. Rogers back to Simos now. Rogers once again slices it up behind the net. Hamblet meets up with Consoletti. Jammed up along the corner. Now Rogers trying to get to it, but getting there first is Ryan Martin. Along the far side, that's Cartarelli, and he meets up with Simos, who comes away with it, but it looks like we're going to have an offsides. 
35 seconds left on the power play, 744 left in the first period. We are scoreless so far between the Hillers and Bishop Stang. The game that took place before this one was Ashland and Martha's Vineyard. Ashland ended up winning four to nothing as that was off the ref. Hope he's okay. Ben Saunders is trying to turn it up ice. Tracked down by Sheamus. Over to Kirk, who will put it up and around. Tracked down in the corner by Ben Saunders, just past the reach of Quinlan. Saparosha briefly got the stick on it, but Matt Walsh was there. And Bishop Stang is going to successfully kill off this power play as it will expire right now. Pass up by Quinlan looking for Kirk, intercepted by Carusi. That one over to Hamblet, and a glove save there by Dory. A wrister there by Hamblet. Dory wraps that one up. Freshman goaltender for Bishop Stang. Sean Walsh up against Devin Allen. Or actually, that was Bobby Jedry, rather. Now here comes Jedry. Rogers trying to slip it away. Walsh gets a shot off, and Dory able to turn it away. And getting the stick on it was Consoletti. Over towards the neutral zone it goes. Gilbert trying to turn it up ice, but it was unable to do so. Simos tracks it down over to Rogers, just past his reach. Consoletti now. That shot wide to the left. Tracked down by Gilbert. And he'll slice it off the far side boards. Well, the Hillers, they're pretty quick usually during the season to change lines, but you're, you're going to see this first line a lot tonight. They need their top goal scorers out there against a good team, such as Bishop Stang. Gilbert turns it up the far side in the neutral zone with a wrister wide to the left goes Consoletti. Along the far side corner, Simos. That pass is up to Rogers. Rogers with a slap shot there. And now a glove saved by Dory off the stick of Walsh. 5.42 left to go in the first period. The Hillers will change up some talent on the ice as well as Bishop Stang. We'll have a face off in the Spartans territory. Dan Kirk up against Matt Walsh. Saparoshitz. He was looking for Toko along the far side. Tracked down along the near side corner by Quinlan. And then Dan Kirk getting a little physical along the boards with Devin Allen. And there's a shot turned away by Dory. That was off the stick of Luke Glyden. Jammed up along the corner. Toko trying to dig it out as well as Quinlan. Toko with possession. Nice job by Toko keeping possession there. Glyden with the shot. And that ended up off a Spartan and Toko. And now on a quick break is Babino. Here comes Babino looking for a shot and a glove save there by Thomas. Clock stopped at 4.58. We'll have a face off in the Hillers defensive zone. Of course, since this is playoff hockey, this game remains tied beyond regulation. There will be overtime. I believe it's the same rules as the NHL, you'll have a three on three for a period and then uh, go to a shootout. Hamblet up to Rogers. Rogers meets up with Saunders. Ben Saunders trying to dig it out for Bishop Stang. And now, opportunity here for Rogers. That's turned away off of Colin Walsh. Number, and there's a goal for the Hillers. A great feed to Hamlet went off to stick a Walsh over to Hamlet, and the Hillers are up one to nothing with 4:35 left to go in the first period. A 
Well, a good way to start things off for Hopkinton. And that was a great goal there. And now Walsh looking for another one here. And Rogers shot turned away. Out in front of the net. Tracked down by Carusi, jammed up along the corner. Rogers takes a body check from Jedry. Bishop Stang trying to retaliate. Hamlet with a wrister. That's wrapped up by Dory. Face off coming with 404 left to go. Ron Seamus was the other one credited with the assist on the Tommy Hamlet goal. Well, the Hiller is looking dominant out there so far tonight. Dan Kirk up against. Brandon Cartarelli. Tracked down in the corner by Martin. Here comes Bishop Stang. Quinlan turns it away as he's able to get it away from Cartarelli. Up along the far side it goes. Jedry trying to track it down. And that's put off the boards by Quinlan. Now Bishop Stang briefly had it. Miller's have it once again. And Dan Kirk with an opportunity there. Quinlan with a shot turned away. Up along the near side, Quinlan gets in there, but keeping it away from him was LaFrance. Bishop Stang having a lot of trouble getting it out of their territory. LaFrance pass over to Jedry. And that shot wide to the right, tracked down by Glyden. Quinlan able to knock it towards the neutral zone. It's stolen away by Mar Ryan Martin, and there's a long shot that'll be wrapped up by Cole Thomas. Well, the players you're going to have to look out for on Bishop Stang is senior captain Caleb Ikella, 27 points on the season, 11 goals, 16 assists, and then you got Bobby Jedry, 22 points overall, 10 goals, 12 assists. Over to the far side. Walsh pass up to Rogers, and a little interference by the official there. Not intentional, of course. Behind the net goes Saunders, and he left it for Consoletti. Over to the neutral zone. 2.42 and counting left to go in the first period. A 1-0 lead for the Hillers. Tommy Hamblett able to put one in. That shot turned away by Thomas. Up along the far side now. Hamblett trying to turn it around. Sheamus. Gets it over to Simos. Simos slices it up the ice just past of Devin Allen. Jammed up along the corner. Walsh trying to leave it in front once again for Hamlet. Turning that one away is Devin Allen. And that'll be an icing. Face off will come with 2.04 left in the period. Well, impressive stuff so far by the Hillers. They came right out of the gate trying to take control of this game. Dan Kirk up against Devin Allen. Ryan Martin able to put it up the ice and force the wrap by Thomas. Well, that was a nice job by Bishop Stank just finding a way to get it into the Hiller zone. They've had a tough time maintaining puck control. The Hiller is certainly seeming like the quicker team out there so far as Thomas forced to wrap that one off. That was off the stick of Jedry. Hill by Kella on the face off for Bishop Stank. Turned up ice by Jedry. Around the net it goes. Ikella is trying to knock it loose. And here comes the Hillers. Dan Kirk with possession. Kirk with a nice move there. There's a shot. And it is turned away by Dory. It ends up on the top of the net. So that means it's out of play. And an unintentional stick to the 
face mask of Dory as well. Well, it's a good thing they're wearing those face masks. 133 left to go in the first period. Killers up one to nothing. Sean Walsh up against Bobby Jedry. Knocking it around the boards. Consoletti over to Akella. And Hamlet was trying to get in there. Walsh trying to work it up the ice, and we have a whistle here. I believe it was an offsides. And that was indeed the call. A pretty good crowd on hand here at Gallo Arena. A number of students from both schools coming to support their hockey teams. Here comes Ikella. Ikella leaves it for Jedry. That one knocked up the ice by Quinlan. And Cole Thomas had the wrap on it, but was Able to keep the play going. Here comes Quinlan. Turned away by Fitzpatrick. Sheamus leaves it over. And a shot by Weinstock. Wide to the left. Tracked down by Akella. Akella and Walsh do battle. That's pushed out by Carusi. There's a shot wide to the left by Simos. Walsh puts it around the boards, hoping someone can get there in time. Knocking it up was Ikella. And now on a break here, Howarth. And he was unable to maintain possession. Here comes Hamblet. And it looks like Carusi kind of threw the stick at him there. And Rogers was placed nicely in front of the net, but couldn't get the shot off. And there's a shot turned away by Dory. Dory has certainly been busy in net for Bishop Stang so far. Less than 10 seconds left to go in the first period. And that will do it for period number one. And after one, it's the Hopkinton Hillers one, Bishop Stang nothing. A good start to this playoff matchup for the 11 seeded Hillers against six seeded Bishop Stang. They came out in full force and dominated that first period but a whole lot of hockey left to be played. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how it can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Welcome back to John Gallo Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts, as we are just about ready for the second period between the Hillers and Bishop Stang. A one to nothing lead for Hopkinton. At 4.35 left to go in the first period, Tommy Hamlet scored a goal, assisted by Sean Walsh and Ron Sheamus. And it was a good start for the Hillers, a pretty dominant first period. They certainly won the possession battle and had a number of steals and did not let Bishop Stang in their zone a whole lot. Sean Walsh up against Caleb Ikella, and we are underway in the second period. Simon's got a stick on it there, and then he took a hard hit. Rogers up to Hamblet. Now up along the near side. Hamblet, the backhander, and turning it away was Dory. And here comes Bishop Stang. But tripped up is Bobby Jedry, and we have a whistle. We'll have a face-off in Hiller's territory. 
And it looks like Sean Walsh is heading to the penalty box. I believe they got him for a trip. So Bishop Stang has a power play opportunity for the next two minutes. Andrew Gilbert has entered the game. Steve Simos up against Caleb Ikella on the faceoff. Rogers puts it over to the far side, pass up by Jedry. And a misfire there by Brian Martin. Jammed up behind the net. Ikella meets up with Seamus and is able to get it out over towards Ryan Martin. Now the pass over to the circle, and that comes flying right up towards us. And it was just past, uh, I believe it was Howard that got the stick on it. And that ended up right in the uh, media section here. And almost took out our cameraman, but we're very glad to see he's okay. John Ritz on camera. I'm Tom Nappy on the call. It's a nice view, but certainly a little dangerous as Ben Saunders chases it down along the far side over towards Ryan Martin. Minute 27 and counting left on the power play for Bishop Stang. Martin trying to drive it up. Simos takes control, able to put it up the far side. Over towards Martin, and that ends up out of play. Went off the side netting. Clock stops at 13.39 left to go in the second period. 107 left on the power play. Dan Kirk up against Matt Walsh. A nice win there on the faceoff by Kirk. Tracked down by Vittorio Consoletti. Zaporoshitz lifts it back to Bishop Stang territory. Kirk trying to track it down, keeping it away was Consoletti. 43 seconds left on the power play. Turned away by Simos. Back ice it goes. Dory gets the stick on it. And here comes Bishop Stang. Pass over to the near side to Babino. Saparoshitz able to get it away. Well, a good power play burned by the Hillers. 10 seconds left on the power play, but more than likely, will come out of it successful. Along the near side, Carusi. There's a shot and wrapped up by Cole Thomas, and the power play has expired. Twelve thirty-two left to go in the second period, and we'll have a face-off just in front of us. Sean Walsh up against Cartarelli. We'll switch it up; it'll be Hamlet. Sean Walsh trying to get in there, able to find Rogers. Here goes Rogers over to Walsh. The shot just wide to the left. Clyde gets a stick on it, and that'll go around the end boards. Along the near side, that's Cartarelli. Who's trying to reach LaFrance. Clyde had something to say about that. Back and forth in the neutral zone, put off the boards by Jedry. Andrew Gilbert tracks it down behind the net. There's a shot there, just a little wide to the right by Saunders. Hamlet will put that up. Near side, up behind the net, Rogers. Hamlet now, looking for a shot. That one just a little wide there. Pass down by Gilbert over to Hamlet. Hamlet trying to maintain possession as he was contested by Govea. And some hard hitting going on along the near side. A nice check there by Gilbert on Jedry. 
Looking for a shot here, Rogers, and that's wide to the right. And there's a shot by Sheamus, turned away by Dory. Rogers able to track it down. Weinstock, who just recently hopped into the game with possession up behind the net. Puts it over towards Quinlan. And now to Sheamus, a little trip up there. He was able to get it in the slot, but there was a number of Spartans there to turn it away. It was Bobby Jedrick getting the initial stick on it. Now we'll have an icing and a face-off in Bishop Stang territory with 10.42 left to go in the second period. Dan Kirk in the face-off circle for the Hillers. Caleb Ikella for Bishop Stang. Kirk trying to dig it out. Bobby Jedry able to keep it away briefly. Getting a stick out of there with Sheamus. Now it's lifted up by Simos and turned away by Dory. Long distance shot there, out in front. Quinlan with a wide open shot, and that's turned away. Good save by Matt Dory. And that's about as wide open as it gets. And Will Quinlan was looking for that top left corner. But Dory read it good. Sean Walsh up against Matt Walsh. There's a shot and a glove save by Dory. That was off the stick of Hamlet. Well, Matt Dory is single-handedly keeping Bishop Stang in this game. The Hillers have had a number of good shots, but Matt Dory has made a number of great saves. Sean Walsh up against Matt Walsh. Able to turn it around towards the near side. Tracked down by Hamlet. Tommy Hamlet, as of late, has just played outstanding hockey and has been a huge piece of the Hillers' success in their most recent wins. Sean Walsh up along the near side, able to get it towards Gilbert. Gilbert up to Hamlet. Hamlet able to get around a couple Spartans, and he'll take it around the net. Leaves it for Saparoshitz. Pass over to Gilbert, and that shot just a little wide to the left. And there's a goal for the Hillers. Sean Walsh, I believe, was able to put that one in. And it's 2-0 Hopkinton with 9.38 left to go in the second period. And of course, with the Hillers uh, playing on the far side, from where we are. We don't have the best angle on it, but I believe that was a Sean Walsh goal and a Tommy Hamlet assist, and here comes Walsh again. And he's trying to jam that in the corner. Rogers gets in there. Simos puts that up just past the Walsh. Along the corner, Rogers. Saunders. Over towards Cartarelli. Here comes Hamlet. Hamlet racing in. Sheamus. And that wide to the left. And that was Kyle Rogers on the goal. Tommy Hamlet on the assist. That came with 9.38 left in the second period, and the Hillers continuing to put the pressure on. So Kyle Rogers came up huge there. We'll have another face-off in Bishop Stang territory. Dan Kirk for the Hillers. Along the near side boards. Quinlan trying to dig it out. Here comes Kirk. Trying to turn it around was Howarth. Diverted by Gilbert. And now here comes Ryan Martin. 
Martin, a little misfire there, but able to get the shot off just past the Glyden. Shot a little wide. Gilbert now doing battle with Ikella along the corner. Now up behind the net goes Jedry, and he'll pay for it. As he meets up with Glyden and Kirk. And now racing up the ice, Weinstock looking for a shot. And he's going to take it around the net. Could not get the angle he liked on it. Quinlan trying to get it out of the traffic jam. Dan Kirk along the far side trying to take control. Turned up ice by Glyden. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. 7.45 and counting left to go in the second period. Simos racing up. Shot wide to the right. Sean Walsh picks it up. Trying to leave it out in front for Hamlet. And we'll have an icing. Well, the Hillers continuing to dominate possession-wise. And they have had some great shots tonight. They only have two goals, but it could be a lot more if it wasn't for the outstanding play in net by Matt Dory. Out in front, nearly another goal there. And there's a secondary shot by Walsh. As he risked that one, it was turned away by Dory. Govia puts it over to the far side. Simos gets the stick on it. Just past Hamlet. Simos puts that up towards Rogers, who will knock it around. Sheamus going to pick it up. And Sheamus takes a hard check by Consoletti. Here comes Bishop Stang trying to attack. They have had very limited success in the attacking zone. Sheamus puts that one off of Mullen. Now Hamlet. Pass over to Rogers. Rogers with a nice move there, but able to get the stick on it with Saunders. Sheamus trying to turn it up towards Simos. No one there. It's picked up by Saunders. That one popped off the boards and picked up by Allen, and that shot is going to be gloved by Thomas. 6.27 left to go in the second period. A 2 0 lead for the Hillers. Already two points today for Tommy Hamblett. He had the goal in the first period and the assist on the Kyle Rogers goal in this second period. Dan Kirk up against Matt Walsh. There's a shot, a little wide there. Turned up ice by Toko. Last shot off the stick of Babineau. It's picked up by Ryan Martin. Here comes Ryan Martin coming in, wide to the left. Babino along the near side, meets up with Saperoshitz, able to keep it away from him, however. And he was trying to get it out in front of the net, but Dan Kirk had something to say about that. Back to the neutral zone, picked up by Martin. That one turned away by Gilbert. Up behind the net, picked up by Martin, trying to leave it out in front. Opportunity here, and Saperoshitz able to get the stick. In there as Devin Allen was driving down. Toko up along the near side, doing battle with Ryan Martin. And it's picked up by Dan Kirk. Ryan Martin took a hard hit there. That was good defense by the Hillers, racing into the slot to make sure Bishop Stang couldn't get the shot off. Bishop Stang starting to establish a little bit of an attack here. Stolen away by Rogers. Rogers driving up the ice, looking for the shot, and it's turned away by Dory. And then trying to jam it in on the corner of the net. And we have a, some hard hitting going on as well. A little push there as Hamlet getting a little physical with Consoletti. Sheamus leaves it out in front. Rogers trying to poke it in, and it's wrapped up by Dory. All kinds of action in that last sequence. Clock stopped at five minutes left in the second period. And we might have a penalty here. Well, both teams are doing some pushing and shoving, so perhaps they just called it even. Certainly has become a physical game for Bishop Stang. I'd say more out of frustration as that shot turned away off the stick of Sheamus. Sheamus along the corner. 
Leaves it for Rodgers. And now it's taken away. Here comes the Spartans. Racing up past Simos. Good shot by Ikella. Turned away by Thomas. Rodgers able to collect and leave it for Sean Walsh. Walsh going to drive up. Looking for the shot. And that one diverted. Chavis puts it towards the corner. Here comes Bishop Stang once again. Into the neutral zone, Thomas will have to turn that one away. That keeps it alive as Simos pokes it forward. And Walsh going to be called off sides. Hamblet cross first. 4-14 left to go in the second period. A 2-0 lead for the Hillers. And they are certainly in a pretty comfortable place right now, but a lot of hockey left. Gilbert, able to poke that around the boards. Quinlan, up behind the net. And there's a shot turned away by Dory. That was off the stick of Weinstock. And we'll get a stoppage here. The puck went out of play. We'll have a face-off with 3.55 left in the second. Dan Kirk up against Matt Walsh. Gilbert trying to steal it away is Babineau. Babineau tripped up. Dan Kirk trying to come away with it. Quinlan along the far side. Tracked down by Walsh. Some good physical play in this game. Dan Kirk puts it around. Jammed up behind the net. Now into the corner it goes. Quinlan was along the corner and it's taken away by Carusi. Clyden is there. Here comes Cartarelli. And glove save there by Thomas. Nice hard shot by Brandon Cardarelli. Three oh three left to go in the second period. A two nothing lead for the Hillers. We will have a face off in Hillers territory. Well, Cole Thomas has made some exceptional saves so far tonight. Rogers leaves it forward for Hamlet. Here comes Hamlet racing in. There's a shot turned away by Dory. Tracked down by Jack Jedry. And here he comes, trying to leave it for Cardarelli. Up along the far side it goes. Ben Saunders tracks it down back ice for Bishop Stang. Up along the near side now. Hamlet was trying to dig it out. Rogers looking for a shot. And that one's popped in the air. Ends up behind the net. Surrounded by a number of Spartans. Now back to the neutral zone, Simos. He was trying to leave that one for Walsh, I think, hoping that he would get there before Martin. Behind the net once again. Walsh over to Hamlet, and that is going to be wrapped up by Dory. I'll tell you what, if you're Bishop Stang, you need more urgency to get that puck out of your zone. They're just kind of letting the Hillers knock it around and take shots. But Hopkinton will be more than happy to do that all night long. Sean Walsh up against Caleb Ikella. Carusi comes away with it. Puts it into Hiller's territory, and that's going to draw the icing. Clock stopped at 2.05 left to go in the second period. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you here at John Gallo Arena in Bourne for the first Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey playoff game. John Ritz on camera. The winner of this game will be right back here on Sunday. And they'll take on the winner of North Quincy and Rockland. Jammed up behind the net with possession. That's Bobby Jedry, the captain. 
Jedry able to get it forward to Ikella, but Simos had something to say about that. Around the net it goes, tracked down in the corner by Carusi. Carusi able to poke it towards Ikella. Ikella tangled up a little bit with Simos. Over to the near side now. Trying to come away with it is Hamlet. And he was attempting to leave it out for Quinlan to get a shot off. Hiller's maintaining control of the puck throughout much of this second period. And at times it almost seems like they're just toying with Bishop Stang. Hard shot there by Simos. Walsh able to lift that one up and out of play it goes. Clock stopped at 101 left to go. Well, it's certainly a deep South Division III bracket this season, as it usually is. You got about 20 teams in the bracket and a lot of great competition. This Hillers team, I think, could keep up with any of them if they play like this. Walsh with a shot there. Here comes Ikella. And that is just wide to the right. That was Chris Mullen, rather. Saporoshitz able to put that up the near side. And it's taken by Ben Saunders. Rogers. Here comes Kyle Rogers. He's trying to get it around Hamlet there. But Hamlet will pick it up instead. Approaching 20 seconds left to go in the second period. Out in front, Rogers is trying to steal it away. Walsh might have a shot here. Here he comes, racing in and lifts that one up. It's turned away and lifted out of play off the stick of Govia. Clock stopped at 10 seconds left. Well, everything going the Hillers way so far tonight. For Bishop Stang, it's most likely going to come down to the final 15 minutes to try to Tie this game up. Just dominant hockey by the Hillers so far tonight. Very impressed with what I'm seeing out there in their first playoff game against a good Bishop Stang team. Walsh puts that one off the side of the net. Rogers jammed up behind the net. And that'll do it for the second period. The Hillers score another goal. And they keep Bishop Stang scoreless in this game. And as we head to the final 15 minutes of regulation, it's the Hillers 2, Bishop Stang nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Welcome back to John Gallo Arena in Bourne. Tom Nappy on the call for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey, John Ritz on camera. And as we enter the third period, it's the Hillers leading Bishop Stang two to nothing. The first goal came with 4.35 left in the first period off the stick of Tommy Hamlet. And he was assisted by Sean Walsh and Ron Sheamus. And then at 9.38 left in the second period, it was Kyle Rogers assisted by Tommy Hamlet. The Hillers have put on a dominant performance so far tonight. And they have ma maintained puck control throughout much of this game. Bishop Stang has not been able to really get any momentum going, but we'll see if they're able to get something brewing in the final 15 minutes of regulation. But the Hillers, they certainly seem ready to play today. Sean Walsh up against Bobby Jedry. And we are underway in the final period of regulation. Carusi gets it just out of the reach of Martin. Rogers got in there, Rogers looking for a shot, and that is turned away by Dory, and then uh, coming in there was Hamlet. 
was a good save by Dory. And Hamblett uh, came in there, tried to get the stick on it, and it was just out of his reach. And now here comes Bishop Stang, intercepted by Walsh, as Ikello was trying to work his way around a couple of hillers. Up around the net it goes. Seamus trying to track it down along the far side. Out in front, Simos has control. Simos over to Walsh, who will take a hit there. And now Seamus. Puts it back around, and here comes the Hillers in a Bishop Stank territory, but first they'll have a line change. Sean Walsh trying to track down Carusi. Dory sets up Martin. Will Quinlan trying to steal that away as Weinstock gets in there now. Racing up Martin, looking for a shot, and it is going to be out in front of the net and nearly jammed in, but Cole Thomas is able to wrap it up. And the officials having an extra long look to make sure that Thomas did indeed wrap that puck up before he was able to cross the line. And it is indeed a save by Thomas. That was good pressure by Bishop Stang. They certainly have not had a whole lot of pressure in this game, but that was certainly uh, some good pressure there. Quinlan. Is looking for Kirk out the far side. Consoletti puts that around the boards. Jammed up along the corner. Cartarelli trying to dig it out for Bishop Stang. Jack Jedry also getting in there. And <laughs> right now they're just kind of gridlocked in that corner. And finally, someone's able to get it out. That shot turned away. That was off the stick of Colin Walsh. And now we'll have a whistle. And it looks like a uh, cross check. And that is going to be against the Hillers, I believe. It looks like uh, Gilbert's heading into the penalty box. So a power play opportunity for Bishop Stang. Well, if you're Bishop Stang, you want any hope of advancing, you gotta take advantage of this. Here comes Sean Walsh on a quick break. And he was turned away by Ryan Martin, who was then tripped up. Rogers trying to knock it up towards Walsh. And now Ikella gets in there. Racing up the far side, Jedry. And that one is wrapped up by Cole Thomas. 12. 42 left to go in the third period. 137 left on the power play for Bishop Stang. Caleb Ikella versus Sean Walsh in the faceoff circle. Just past the reach of Saunders. Dory is just going to leave it there, and Rogers took a hit from Jedry and went flying into the corner board. And we have another cross check call. And that is going to be against Bishop Stank, so Bobby Jedry will head to the box. And that is the worst possible thing you could have done if you were Bishop Stang. You had the man advantage for the next minute 26. Now it's even strength for the next minute, 26. Sean Walsh up against Ikella. Simos lifts that one over to the far side. Rogers trying to get to it. Seamus trying to dig it out. Up behind the net goes. Tracked down by Carusi, who then leaves it for Consoletti. Over to the near side, here's Simos. We'll meet up with Consoletti. Simos trying to turn it around. And he was looking for Rogers in the slot. Consoletti with possession. We'll meet up with Sean Walsh. Walsh steals it away. And he was leaving that, trying to leave that for Rogers. It was just past his reach. Carusi. Here comes Zykela. 
Uh, Keller with some smooth moves there, but he was turned away. Miller's defenseman playing uh, very well today. Sean Walsh puts that just wide to the right of the net. That was a good attempt there by Sean Walsh. Just kind of slapped it out of the possession of Carusi and was able to get the shot off. In 16 seconds, the Hillers will have the man advantage for the next 50 seconds. 11.22 left to go in the third period. A 2-0 Hillers lead over Bishop Stang in this playoff game. Ryan Martin knocks it towards the end boards. Pass by Hamlet. Kirk puts it around the boards. And that's shoot away by Ryan Martin. Walsh tracks it down. Hillers currently have the man advantage, but not for long. They got it for another 20 seconds. Here comes Walsh. Walsh. And that shot turned away by Dory. Well, Matt Dory has certainly been busy in net today for Bishop Stang. And he's faced a number of powerful shots from the stick of Sean Walsh. And Steve Simos and Tommy Hamlet have gotten a number of great shots on net as well. Hamlet jammed up behind the net, out in front. Rogers nearly had a shot on it. Here comes Bishop Stang, they got a three on two. Racing up LaFrance, and a hard smash there by Ryan Martin, but a little too much mustard on that one. Martin trying to turn it around. Both teams at even strength. It's five on five. Power plays have expired as Sheamus puts it towards the near side. Back down by Walsh. Turn up ice by Martin. Up around the end boards it goes. Quinlan able to get that away from Walsh. Here comes Quinlan, he has an opportunity here and he could not get the shot off. Kirk back to Quinlan. Quinlan. Trying to find someone open in the slot there. Kirk. Leaves it for Simos. Now back to Kirk. Kirk gets jammed up with a couple of Spartans. Kirk meets up with LaFrance and Cartarelli. And that puck is still jammed up there. But Quinlan finally able to get it out. And then a hard shot by Simos. Up along the far side, Quinlan. And he's pushed down by Martin, who is able to turn it up towards the Hiller zone, but that'll draw the icing. Clock stopped at 9.01 left to go in the third period. Bishop Stang quickly running out of time. The Hillers continuing to control possession in a big way. The winner of this game will go up against the winner of third seeded North Quincy and 14th seeded Rockland. That game will be Sunday, March 3rd, right here at Gallo Arena in Bourne. Walsh leaves it out in front, and that one going to be wrapped up by Dory as Rogers try to poke it in. Well, that's become a theme for the Hillers. Get Kyle Rogers in the slot. Sean Walsh sets him up. Tommy Hamblin has had big involvement as well. That shot turned away by a defenseman off the sick of Rogers. Walsh trying to find the puck. Bobby Jedry does first. Back ice it goes. Picked up by Glyden. Up to Rogers. Pass by Colin Walsh. Over to Gonzaletti. Turned up ice by Saunders. Some body contact. There as Gilbert was racing to the corner. Here comes the Hillers trying to establish another attack. Here's Sean Walsh. Some good moves there, but just too many Spartans in his way. And Simos tracks it down. He was just able to cut off Ikella, who thought he had a breakaway. Quinlan pops it off the boards. Behind the net, Walsh. And meeting up there with Simo Sandikella. Out in front, there's a shot. That's turned away. That went off of Consoletti. 
Dan Kirk with possession. Kirk with the backhanded pass over to Weinstock, and then Quinlan tries to poke it in. Along the far side corner, Kirk up to Sheamus. That one turned away by Walsh. And there's a shot there, and that ends up in! That shot was by Simos. And I believe that was the only touch on it. Dan Kirk was right in front of the net. But it is 3-0 Hillers. That was a beauty of a shot by Simos. I think Kirk might have got a stick on it. We'll, uh, we'll hear the confirmation shortly. And I'm not sure if it grazed the stick of Kirk or if it was just a clean shot there by Simos. But in any case, the Hillers up 3-0. And we have a timeout on the ice. Bishop Stang wants to talk things over, so with the timeout, we'll take one as well. 7.28 left to go in regulation. The Hillers leading Bishop Stang in playoff hockey, 3-0 on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A guy. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al Gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be. Uh, camp. We love H-Camp. And I volunteer for H-Camp TV. And I watch H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. And I love H-Camp TV. We, we love H-Camp TV. Woo! Off the timeout in the third period, the goal was credited to Weinstock. Assist by Simos. And that hard shot by Hamlet went off the... Helmet of Matt Dory and out of play. A 3 0 lead for the Hillers. Jake Weinstock getting credit for that third goal. Simos with the assist. So I thought it hit a stick after uh, Simos had the powerful shot, and that turns out to be the case. Howarth meets up with Wolf. Turned up by Hamlet. Up the near side, Mullen. A shot wide to the left by Gilbert. Hamlet puts it around for Rogers. Under seven minutes left to go, Hillers with a comfortable 3 0 lead. Hamlet able to poke it away. Now racing up, it's Ryan Martin. Here comes Martin up the far side. Saparoshitz with the push there. Zavaroshitz puts that around the boards. Almost hitting the official there. As Walsh collides with Matt Walsh, or Hamlet rather. With possession, Matt Walsh. Off of Hamlet, here comes Matt Walsh trying to drive up ice. And he meets up with Simos. Sheamus. With possession. And now Colin Walsh. He was diverted there by Rogers. Here comes Hamlet, or Sheamus rather. Sheamus along the near side corner. Trying to leave it for Kirk. And then it ends up past the reach of Simos. He'll track it down back ice. Well, the Hillers, just a dominant performance tonight. And they're up three to nothing. And they're thinking uh, of the next round right now. Kirk along the far side, puts it towards Weinstock. With possession, Colin Walsh. Of course, they're gonna keep their uh, foot on the gas pedal here and continue to get as many shots as they possibly can. But this is certainly an impressive performance to come into this tough, tough su South, uh, South Division three sectional bracket put on a performance like this. Hiller is making a statement here tonight. Ryan Martin coming up the far side. That one pass to reach Cardarelli. Carusi. And there's a backhander by Kirk, and it is turned away by Dory. What a save. Quinlan just misses Kirk there. But France. Puts it over to the far side, tracked down by Gilbert. Under five minutes left to go in the third period. 
Here comes Carusi. He'll meet up with Weinstock. Into the Hiller zone it goes. Clyden will take his time. Good pass over to the far side there to Weinstock. We'll get a shot off. And now Rogers was trying to jam it in. Rogers, open shot opportunity here, and it's wrapped up by Dory. Four twenty-one left to go in regulation. The Hillers up three to nothing on Bishop Stang, and it appears that the Hillers will advance in this south sectional bracket. Along the far side, Jedry. Turned up by Hamlet. And we'll have a whistle here. I believe it was off sides. I think Walsh was off sides. And that is indeed the call. Well, one goal in each period so far for the Hillers. The first goal came with 435 left in the first. Tommy Hamlet on the goal, Sean Walsh on the assist, and then the second goal coming with 9.38 left. From the stick of Kyle Rogers, and then we had a goal in this third period off the stick of Weinstock, assisted by Simos. Jammed up along the near side corner. Rogers trying to come away with it. Ben Saunders gets to it, and the Hillers are well rested. They haven't played in some days. So they were ready to play today as that shot turned away off the stick of Hamlet. Colin Walsh, a misfire there as he was looking for Ben Saunders. Sheamus tracks it down. These starters don't want to come off the ice, despite the fact they have a 3 0 lead. They're having a good time out there tonight. Simos picks it up. They want to keep the shutout going and make a statement here. Here comes Sean Walsh racing in, and that shot turned away by Dory. Walsh still with possession, and he'll pass it back to Gilbert. And Gilbert was looking for Quinlan. Hamlet up behind the net. Hamlet maintaining possession, just skating around a number of Spartans, and now it's finally taken away by Ryan Martin. Well, the Hillers, they have outdone Bishop Stang in every way in this game. They've outskated them, they've outshot them, and they've outstrategized them. A dominant, dominant performance to open up the postseason for the Hillers. Two and a half minutes left to go in the third period, and we'll have a whistle here. It was an offsides call. Dan Kirk up against Connor Fitzpatrick. Ryan Martin tracks it down. Over to Carusi. Here comes Carusi. He'll lift that one up, turned away by Thomas. Zaporoshitz puts it up the boards. Pass out in front by Carusi. A little too wide there. It's put out of play off the stick of. Dan Kirk as he met up with Fitzpatrick. Two ten left to go in regulation. At this point, you could say two ten left to go until you, until the Hillers are officially moving on. Lift it up towards the neutral zone. Here's Hamlet. Hamlet racing in. Back towards Sheamus now. Simos with a shot there, and that ends up in. Steve Simos with the power. And that ended up stuck in the back of the net. But Simos just absolutely powered that right by Dory. And that was an absolute beauty of a goal. Hiller is going to switch things up on the ice. Sean 
Donna Walsh on the face off. 146 and counting left to go. The Hiller is now up 4-0. That turned away. Rogers over to Walsh. Toko. That's turned away by Dory. Here comes Jedry. Walsh tracks it down. Reese Griffiths in the game for the Hillers. That one lifted up. And we'll get a whistle at one minute left to go in the third period. And this face off will occur in Bishop Stang territory. And Kirk up against Bobby Jedry. In possession, Ryan Martin. Quinlan trying to steal it away. Back ice it goes, Jedry. Pass up ice by Saunders. Gilbert tracks it down. Over to Quinlan. Now racing up. Here's Weinstock looking for a shot. He'll bring it around and meet up with Ben Saunders. Now jammed up behind the net. 15 seconds and counting left to go until the Hillers are moving on as they lead Bishop staying 4 to nothing. Jammed up along the corner. Saunders trying to poke it out. Ikella knocks it around the boards, and that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers get the four to nothing win, and they are moving on to the next round of the South Division Three sectionals. A dominant victory here tonight. A great effort all around by the Hopkinton Hillers. Four to nothing is the final score, and the Hillers will move on to take on the winner of North Quincy and Rockland right here at Gallo Arena in Bourne. A tremendous victory by the Hillers and statement made. A lot of people were skeptical of the Hillers after they struggled in their last few games of the season, but they certainly made a statement taking down a good Bishop Stang team in dominant fashion here tonight. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching. Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.